Hey guys. Jungle Book. John Favreau. D23. Live action. Mowgli. Baloo. All the bare necessities you need to make a Jungle Book movie. And the reviews are coming in and they're pretty good. So we're really happy that John Favreau, when he falls in love with something and decides to make a movie, it turns out very well. But when, it becomes, when it becomes work. Yeah, Iron Man too. Doesn't turn out so well. No. But Jungle Book. We've been waiting for Jungle Book ever since they released the amazing, stellar, caught our eye, talk of the night trailer. That they gave to us at D23. It was amazing. And now it's finally here and we're going to go see it. And it's to the music that you get to hear in like the second trailer. The very grand, epic, opius of bare necessities. Boom, 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 boom. I mean, it's it's definitely catches your eye. And we saw D23. Nobody got to see it for months later. And we were just waiting. Our memory oh, was fading. We didn't even remember. How did it sound? What did it look like? But now it's here. And from what we hear, it's amazing. It should be exciting. So we are going to head on over to the theater and watch it. And again, let's go. So, The Jungle Book. Really good movie. I good. quite enjoyed it. Yeah. Um, John Favreau definitely did a great job mm -hmm. at, I mean. Sticking to the story. Sticking more towards the, the Disney version of the story. Yes. Really happy that he really used it as inspiration. I mean, even from the very first Disney logo, you could tell he's oh, going. Oh yeah, you know how like sometimes they do based off of the movie itself, like they did that with Tron where they had the different um, Disney sign thing and this one was no different. They did something different with this one and I really liked it. It really brought back to the original uh, in a sense. It really gave you that nostalgia feeling of the Jungle Book from the old one. And the music, the music was pretty spot on. I was expecting a little bit more tracks wise, but they did kind of hit the heavy hitters and the decided yeah, and, and decided to stick to the top 10, which it was great. They did awesome renditions of it. It felt like I was watching the cartoon as well as the movie, but the show, the, the basically the highlight of the show for me is the CG. FX. Yeah, absolutely. Photo realistic CG. Very, it was done very well. I really, at some points, like I knew it was made in downtown Los Angeles, like it says, but at the same time, you're just like, uh, are you sure? Marvel fun. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I really, I mean, it's not Dr. Doolittle by any means. I mean, Dr. Doolittle did an awesome job at giving life to the animals like Arch, Archie and all them. But this one really just, you, you buy it. You, you buy into the fact that these are real animals in the jungle. Granted, they're bigger, but they... I love all the voice actors that got to play. Um, Bill Murray, uh, Christopher Walken was kind of a weird one at first, but when we watched it, it actually did kind of... It definitely fit his character once he got talking. Yeah. Um, ben Kingsley as Bagheera, I mean, that was... That was a good one. I Perfect. Like Bagheera and Baloo, I mean, those were definitely the dynamic duo of the movie. Um, but my big one, a uh, nice little cameo, Gary Shanling. I'll let you guys find out where he is, but the Gary Shanling cameo made me really happy to hear. Um, he just Elba as Shere Khan. <laughs> That was perfect. The <laughs> muscles in that damn tiger. Yeah. <laughs> they give so much character to these animals. All of them. And Mowgli. Oh, like, absolutely. He's he's amazing. He's a delight. He is. He is like from the moment we we saw him at D23 and then seeing him in this movie, he really embodied Mowgli from the cartoon and it was amazing. For a first time actor too, yeah. out of nowhere. Yeah. Introducing this is like technically his first movie so it was great so we really really enjoyed it um no stinger at the end so you don't have to stay to the end no. of the credits there is a couple things that i thought that were like eh, like ka ka yeah but ka definitely jumped in and jumped out of the film anyway so ka it, is it's there true for... but i don't know it's just it felt like just to put, like i don't know it felt like he just put it in there just to put it in there kind of thing well but, I mean, he kind of had to 
Yeah, but at the same time, I mean, it was great with like, you know how in the movie where he gets hypnotized and you can kind of see in the eyes of this one, like you could see the, the ooh, ooh, and that was great too. I was like, oh, that's kind of cool, giving it a more like, re like a like realistic. Like it was in the cartoon. Yeah. yeah, but make it more realistic. Absolutely. At the same time, and I thought that that was a cool. So good job, John Favreau and crew. Um, I'm really excited to see what they do with this technology because I was blown away in Ant-Man when they just had a younger version of Michael Douglas. Oh my but God. <laughs> this is just creating an entire world. Like my stance on CG is definitely uh, shot for sure. Shot to the ego of practical, practical, but they did an amazing job. John with Favreau this. did. Love, fantastic. passion. So I really there hope they this, do this with some future movies. That's true. And then what also was kind of a cool thing is that the beginning of the thing they actually pop up and John Favreau tells you like hey thank you for coming and seeing Jungle Book and I hope you enjoy it and then a huge thing that says thank you and it yeah. kind of feels like oh no you're welcome like yeah. I'm glad to <laughs> I be here. I even said you're welcome John Favreau. <laughs> yeah like I'm glad to see this movie. And a lot of heart. A lot and of it heart. definitely has the nostalgia feeling for me because I love the Jungle Book, the original cartoon Disney version Jungle Book, and so this kind of embodied that, and I really liked it. So I would probably give it a 4.2 out of 5? I would get it 4.5 out of 5. 4 or 5 out of 5, for sure. But check out the Jungle Book. We really enjoyed it. Yep, if you um, like the Jungle Book, the Disney movie, you won't. I guess it's good and the music <laughs> i mean the music that they play oh, yes. throughout the movie this i mean music. it was it was it was it's good great. it was is really good so check it out we appreciate it guys thank you for watching and now it's time to say goodbye bye, bye.